I'm finally back to the village after being away for the whole winter. As you can imagine, there are quite a few things that need to be done. First of all, it's time for spring cleaning. Of course, when we left, we tried to tidy up as much as possible, but dust and other things keeps accumulating, especially if you cannot take care of it every day. Since we turned off the fridge when we left, I took advantage of cleaning it before turning it back on. Being one of the few furnitures available in the house, the table accumulated quite a few items when I arrived. So it was time to sort it out. I like to have a clean and tidy space because it also helps with my mental health. Not just because it looks pretty, but also because it gives a sense of accomplishment when I am finished. And of course, I needed to clean the coffee machine area because I need my morning coffee no matter what. Making coffee for me is like a ritual and it sets me for the day ahead. The first few days have been quite miserable outside unfortunately, so it was the perfect time for some indoor activities and cozy time. One day we even had minus five, so it was the perfect occasion for cooking a soup on the stove. There is something special about the food cooked on the fire, it tastes so much better. Cozy days also mean lighting up candles and incense. One thing I missed the most while away was my morning habit of making coffee and drinking with some traditional Latvian pastries. They are nothing fancy or weird, but they just taste delicious. Because of the weather, I stayed in, and it was the perfect time for some furniture buildings. Funny enough, this chest of drawers arrived last year. I ordered it for the bedroom, but it ended up arriving after we left. As I mentioned, the plan was to having it in the bedroom, but I thought that it would be a better idea to put it in the living room as I'm lacking of most of the furniture at the moment. Of course, it might move in the future, but for now it will stay there as it's the place where I need to store items the most. I always found funny to build this sort of furniture because you never know what's gonna happen at the end. has finally started to be a bit better, so I took advantage and went outside. And especially I took advantage of the no rainy weather to put some blankets outside. And please don't mind the mess at the moment because this was like the third, fourth day and still needed to sort everything out and eventually I will get to that. Hello everybody! So today we're going to start doing some small plants using a propagator set and some seeds, of course. And usually I used to have like putting directly in small plants but because I cannot find any small plants here or like those already grown, I need to do them myself. I will put both vegetables and flowers because I have no flowers in the garden. I have four of these. I have a variety of vegetables. Some of them unfortunately will need to go directly in the ground but whatever I can put into the propagator I will start with that. So for sure some salad. Salad I should have a different different variety. 
this is like lactose, but I don't particularly like it, so I think I will skip it for now. Mm, I love this radicchio rosso. Also got some like herbs, uh, like mm, chives. Uh, I have the parsley. At the moment, has been still quite very cold. Like we had minus two the other day still and it's starting to warm up today it was five finally and they promising like plus 20 next week <laughs> i don't know anyway even if i have like a small greenhouse to cover them in the night uh, i don't want the ground can still be quite cold and it's not gonna grow so we'll see we'll see and uh, I had some rocket salad here yeah, somewhere. I definitely need to put this one. Let's get started and let's see what's gonna happen. I just realized that I actually haven't got any uh, seeds for uh, some dill which I really like and it, I think it, it goes really well with the, with everything just realized I don't have any so I will probably buy them like in the next days where yeah, they show they have some seeds like I've made it quite full because I'm pretty sure when I start watering it, it's gonna sink down. I think I'm gonna <laughs> sacrifice one hand for the good of my vegetables and using my hand, bare hand, because I cannot, I cannot really feel. I don't have sensitivity with these gloves, of course. I'm gonna start with some salad. I think for now I will put only like four rows like that because salad is that thing that like, is gonna be ready all at the same time, right? And if it's gonna be ready all the same time, I don't wanna end up with like 10 bushes of salad, which I don't know what to do, of course. So I prefer like putting four today and then maybe in a week doing other four. So like when they will be ready, I'm gonna have time to eat those four in a week and the following week, they're gonna, the other one are gonna be ready. I'm gonna put the spinach. Like, so spinach are those, unfortunately, those plants that, like the leaves, takes up so much space, but once you cook them, they just disappear. So I'm pretty sure I can put a few of them without any problem. Okay, first one is done. Okay, let's try to put some chives. I've, I've done a vegetable patch before in Italy, so even the weather and the climate is different from here. Of course, in Italy, it starts to be warm earlier, so we'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. And because I've done chai in this one, I will probably pour Oh, yes, the rocket salad I haven't put. 
Mm, I love rocket sun, so I probably need to go and get some more. It's very little here, there's not much left. Some of these packages are from last year, so they are like already used. But it's good that like the shop here in the village has the plants, the seeds. Yeah, sorry, the plant, the seeds. <laughs> they have the seeds. Unfortunately, they don't have any plants. So that's why I need to do all the seeding at home. Okay, cucumber, we can do them. Cucumber looks like we can do them in here. This is actually from England, from the UK. Yeah, so I have, as I said, I have different variety of seeds, plants, vegetables, flowers, and they are all a mix of where they come from. I got some from the UK, some from Italy, some from here. Okay, they need to be quite in a warm place, they say. Otherwise, they can be done outside directly, starting next month. But this is from England, so like I'm thinking, it says May from May to June. May June in England is probably a bit warmer than here, so I might be lucky and I have another month to be able to do them. In indoor although yeah I think some plants might be easier to just uh, some vegetables or plants are like easier to put in the ground I think the good things about cucumber is like and like those plants that like don't don't make just one thing of something if you think like the salad unfortunately they grows and then that's it like you need to cut it it, it can grow again but it's not like the main uh, salad it's gonna grow very little it's like cucumber like they keep doing other cucumbers yeah i'm looking at my seat and i think it would be nice to get some carrots i don't have any carrots that of course need to be sown directly I think that unless I want to try to put some like herbs, I might be done with the vegetables for now. I love these ones from Italy because they have all the, even the map on when to plant them, like in other places, not just Italy. And of course, the warmer it is, the earlier you can start. And on the other hand, the colder it is, the later you need to start. So, okay, um, I need another one of these. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm gonna continue with some time and then I will start with the flowers. And hopefully they're gonna start growing in like a week. And let's see what's gonna happen. So here's the final result. These are the one I've done and I've done... I tried to recycle some bottles that I had here. Let's see if they work. And I put some flowers and I put some water but of course I will need to put a bit more. And they are ready to be put in a warm and uh, yeah sunny place so hopefully in a week or two we start having something mm -hmm. 